Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. First of all, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I usually wouldn't make tech videos on, on holidays, but there have been some pretty pretty major data breaches in the recent times, and your data and identity could be at risk. So it's pretty important that you watch this video. If you have any of the following companies, or are buying things from any of the following companies, your data could be at huge risk. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so first let's see all the companies that are at risk. If you have an account or have shared data with any of these companies, your data could be at a huge risk. Continue watching to see how to fix it and what kind of data has been breached. I've also added a threat level from 1 to 5 for each of them, 1 being the lowest and 5 being the highest. And I've also added chapters in this video, so you can just skip forward to see whichever company you've been using. Anyway, let's get started. So, all the companies that are at risk. Pro Wrestling these is at a major risk. Just Dance, the video game, Texas ENT, Test Jardins, Superior Plus, Log4j. This is a pretty major exploit because Java is being used by a lot of things. And this, you might have heard about this exploit. This can let malicious hackers do anything they want to your PC. And Java can be is used is used by a variety of software, from enterprise to APIs to even websites and Minecraft. That is a major five. Atlanta, the food distributor, Bitmart, the cryptocurrency trading platform. Panasonic, which is unknown, but it seems to have a pretty high threat level. If you have a Panasonic account or device, your data could be at a huge risk. GoDaddy or WordPress through GoDaddy, which is the main host, it's a major 5 again. And VMware reset the server, which is again, so, uh, once again, major 4.5. And it also, have a, it also has a CVSS rating. Alright, so here's the Pro Wrestling Tees breach. As you can see, all customer names and payment card data has been breached. So that means if you take clothes from this company, your payment card and your name and your entire identity could be at risk. If you think your data has been breached or your identity has been stolen, you should go to this website and sign up to protect yourself from identity theft and you should ask your credit card company or debit card company to cancel or pause the card. Alright, so the Just Dance data breach isn't so bad. Only technical identifiers such as game attacks, profile IDs, device IDs, some recorded videos and social media profiles have been breached. This was on 21st of December 2021. And it's not so bad, but it's still kind of bad. And you can't take any measures to fix this. The only measure I can think of is to not link too much personal data to your profile. Alright, so this one happened a while ago but has just been announced. This is for Texas ENT or Texas Ear, Nose and Throat Specialist. This cyber attack happened some time ago but has just been announced. So the things that have been leaked are health information of over 500,000 patients including names, date of birth, record numbers, procedure codes and even social security numbers which is pretty pretty bad. To protect yourself you can contact Texas ENT and check if your data was stolen and they will offer you some theft monitoring services and some complimentary memberships. The propane distributor Superior Plus doesn't have too much of a major data breach. There was a ransom attack in which they disabled certain computer systems but they have no evidence that the safety or security of any customer or any other personal data has been compromised. You can contact them for further details as this as this investigation grows. Now the Log4j attack was major. It was one of the biggest we've had this year. And it's because it affected so, so many computers in the worst way possible. Remote code execution means an attacker could run any kind of code, any kind of malware. They could take control of your PC within seconds while it's sitting across the world being completely untraceable. And it's so major because Log4j is used by Java and a lot of other things. Websites, apps, so many many things use log4j and this is, this is huge and it can also lead to denial of service and so much more. You can read more about that in the cit citations in the description. There are hundreds of thousands of people who have made YouTube videos and, uh, and posts about this and I'm not going to link to all of them. I'm just going to link to the current article I'm reading and one YouTube video. Yeah. To protect yourself from this, you should update Java or any other Log4j installation you have on your computer. They've already released a patch for this because this was about a week or so ago. And yeah. The Atlanta food distribution breach is pretty major but only for employees who work there. If you do work there, you should probably ask your manager or your boss for help from this because they are offering compensation and identity theft protection. The Bitmart breach is very major but not for the reasons you think. It was centered only on two hot wallets which means they were connected to the internet. Over 150 million dollars worth of funds has been stolen. They were temporarily suspending withdrawals until further notice after detecting a large kill security breach. But it was only centered on two hot wallets. So you're not currently at risk but you could be because if they can get two wallets they can get 200, 2 million. You can't really protect yourself because you probably won't be impacted but if you are I'm sure Bitmart will offer protection. 
and then Bitmart is one of the most trusted cryptocurrency trading platforms. So this is a pretty big breach. Now there's been a Panasonic breach, but we don't actually have much information about it. And the breach began on June 22nd and ended on November 3rd. Nobody noticed it till then. It's been going for months, but they and they only detected it a week after it was it has ended. They're they're working with a third party organization to check if any sensitive or personal information has been leaked. If there has, I'll link it in the description or I'll put a thing up here. Now the GoDaddy breach is major. It was detected on November 17th, but it goes back to September 6th, more than three months ago. Over 1.2 million GoDaddy customers were exposed, and here's what all that was. Here's all the things that were leaked: users FTP and database usernames and passwords, which means any database, any kind of files on any website. And this is the worst part: for a subset of active customers, the SSL private key was exposed. Which means that you could do anything on any website. You could delete an entire website. Any GoDaddy hosted website was in danger of being deleted or hacked or everything. And anyone who visited the website could be hacked. Even people who had two-factor authorization, which means they, every time they logged in, they had to get an SMS code. Even those people could have been at risk. This breach was major. And this is not the first time GoDaddy has been breached. GoDaddy really needs to level up their security system. From what I can see, GoDaddy isn't offering any kind of protection, but they might be privately messaging customers. I'm not sure. Now, the way where Visa in the server breach is major. It's more specifically found in the Visa and Web Client plugin. Now, the 7x release line and the 4x release line are unaffected because they cannot use vSphere Web Client. With this breach, they could gain access to sensitive information. They could take the info. They can't hold it ransom, but they can, in fact, take it. And VMware has always been a prime target for breaches because out of the top five virtualization products in the world, they have three products in there. I myself use VMware on a daily basis almost. But fortunately, I'm unaffected. If you do use this product, you need to immediately update and patch your version. And if you have been affected, you can contact VMware or Data Recovery Service. Anyway, those were some of the more recent breaches in the past few weeks. If you want to see a full list, I've left a link down in the description. And every single reference and news article and citation is in the description. All of them. Every single link and reference I have had and made. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you.